For years and years now, podcasters, streamers, and broadcasters alike have all had to create annoying setups to try and get the best video and audio quality for their stream. And a lot of the time, webcams are out of the equation because they only prioritize video. Luckily, the Samsung Go Mic Video aims to fix this. So, let's take a look what it can do. Thanks for checking out Radio.co on YouTube. If you want to see more kit reviews, live webinars, and handy broadcasting tips, then give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and click the bell icon. The Samsung Go Mic is a portable multi-pattern USB-C condenser mic with a 1080p 30 frames per second camera that clips onto the top of your laptop or monitor. You can pick one up on Amazon for about $35 to $40, and as always, we'll provide a link in the description so you can go and get one for yourself. Quite a strange looking, Oh God, as I was saying before I had a minor heart attack, it is quite a strange looking piece of kit, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Sometimes the most ugly pieces of technology are also the best because some manufacturers focus too much on how it looks and then the quality side of things dips. There's no setup required. You just plug it in using the USB-C cable provided and then you can go straight away. You can use this for like streaming platforms, like I say, you can use it for stuff like Zoom and Google Meet if you just want to use it for video calls. Um, yeah, no software required, which is always a plus. I'm most looking forward to seeing how this mic shapes up um, as it has omnidirectional and cardioid options. Um, and if that works out, it could be a game changer and really set itself apart from other microphones in the market. Samsung do make um, a big deal out of its portability, but to be honest, I can't see anyone taking this around with them. Um, it is very clever. It just sort of folds away and clips like that. As, as we know, it does clip quite well. But once you add the USB-C cable into the equation, um, it is gonna be a bit of a faff carrying this around and people will most likely just go back to the inbuilt uh, webcam on their laptop. So yeah, it is portable, definitely. Um, if you're gonna take this around, I don't know. So on the side, like I say, you get your USB-C connection point um, and that will be to connect it and use it. Uh, but you also get a headphone port, which um, Samsung claims gives you zero latency, which is another welcome addition and something to set it apart from competition. If you don't want to have it uh, clipped onto the top of your monitor or laptop, you can have it stood up and twist it around, face whichever way you are, which is nice. Uh, one thing I will say about when you clip it on, um, though, is if you have small bezels uh, on your laptop or monitor like I do um, on my MacBook, then it will take up a little bit of the screen on the top, which isn't ideal. So you maybe just make sure your bezels are gonna be thick enough for this device. On the other side, you have your switch to change it from cardioid and omnidirectional, um, and it's just a simple click to switch it between the two. Uh, and I believe you can switch it like whilst you have it on, you don't need to turn it off or restart or anything while it's going, which is great. But yeah, that's about everything. So let's plug it in and let's see how it sounds and looks. Just like that, here we are. Uh, yeah, so this is the Samsung Go Mic video. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. First impressions, it's not the best video quality in the world, but um, for a 35 pound webcam, I think it is pretty good in that respect. So we're currently uh, recording sound with the omnidirectional mic input. Uh, if we just change it to cardioid, should hear a bit of a difference maybe, possibly. Who knows, let's, let's change it back. Any difference, can you tell? Um, I think you can definitely tell, tell a difference. I think omnidirectional does work a bit better um, than cardioid. What do you think? Worth it for 35 pounds? Let's uh, compare it to the FaceTime webcam built into the MacBook and see uh, what the difference is there. Okay, so this is the built-in webcam on the MacBook Pro 2021, I believe, um, the FaceTime HD 1080p camera. Um, and this does look a bit better, unfortunately. Um, I, d I mean, obviously this is a, how much is this? I have no idea how much this MacBook is, but a lot of money, um, over a grand. So um, it's bound to be a bit better, um, but, I'm not sure how good the mic sounds. What do you think? Do you think it sounds better? Do you think it sounds worse? Um, I believe there's three mics built into the MacBook like, just dotted around it. I'm not entirely sure what the quality of the mics are, but yeah, that'll be interesting to see um, if the Samsung um, can hold up there. So yeah, which, which do you think is better? Let me know down in the comments. So uh, final thoughts, should you go out and pick one of these up? Well, I think it depends what reason uh, you're looking to get one of these. It's a tricky one because you know how I said at the start that webcams usually favor video quality over sound quality. Well, this is definitely an exception. Sound quality here is really good um, for a webcam and it, it's a great do it all setup for like beginners or just people looking for a nice webcam for video calls and stuff. But for more professional streamers and broadcasters, 
I don't know if this is the one for you. Like I say, the mic is fantastic for its size, but the video quality does leave a lot to be desired, and it's definitely no replacement for like a DSLR setup you might already be using. But it's quite unfair to compare the likes of a 35 pound mic and um, camera to a DSLR, for example, which could cost upwards of a lot of money. So is $35 worth it? Yes, if you're using it for video calls and maybe just getting started out in like podcasts and stuff like that, absolutely, this is worth it just for the mic alone. But that's just what I think. What do you guys think? Will you be picking up one of these? Please let us know down in the comments. And as always, please remember to subscribe and hit the like button and ring the bell and all that other stuff. Um, that would be greatly appreciated. But until next time, thank you very much for watching and happy broadcasting. Luckily, the Samsung video, no, Video go mic. Video mic go. Video go mic. Video mic go. Go mic video. Samsung go mic. Samsung go video mic. No, Samsung go mic video. Oh my. They just put words together and called it a title. And just before you go, how would you like to launch your very own online radio station? Surprisingly, it's a lot simpler than you may think. And the absolute best way to get started is by chatting to myself or another member of the Radio.co team. To do that, just head to radio.co forward slash demo to schedule a video call with us, where we'll discuss your plans, answer your questions, and of course, guide you around the Radio.co software.